I have to say this before we get going, that it's so fun. What is so fun? Star Wars. Oh, it is. Like, I had such a fun morning waiting, because everyone's, like, watching the Olympics in America. Mm. It's, like, in prime time, and I, I don't know these suckers that thought they were going to put it on at the start. Right. Like, people are going, oh, they keep teasing it and not showing it. And it's like, <laughs> wow, it's almost like they want you to watch television longer. And more advertising. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have an urge to go to McDonald's? <laughs> are you loving it? I do love, the like, on Twitter and stuff, I don't know, just the, the people from I've met from around the world that mm. are all like, when's it on? Too much Michael Phelps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Gin Erso. <laughs> <laughs> that should be trending. Too much Michael Phelps, not enough Gin Erso. All right. So, here we go. All right. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Press play. Oh, yeah, right. Good music. The world is coming undone. Oh, Forrest Whitaker. Imperial flags reign across the galaxy. Gooseys. Mm. Can you be trusted without your shackles? Let's just get this over with, shall we? We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is in the <laughs> 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 She's badass. Oh, yeah! No! I didn't want that last bit. No! So much for me not swearing this time. Mixed emotions. <laughs> I, I I was because uh, when it showed the logo and I'm like, I wonder if they'll give us a Vader sting. I wonder if they'll give us a Vader mm, sting. Mm. Bang. Mm. Oh, and, and what a sting as well. Just the breathing with the back of the helmet. Oh man! Did you know Darth Vader was in the movie? No, but that's the thing I told you about that article that said you know how what kind of role Darth Vader. Oh yeah, and, yeah. All, and I was like ah. Ah, don't want to know don't want to know yeah so I, and, I wasn't sure how much he knew because at celebration they showed like a reflection of him on the ground like a shadow yeah like right. like on a really shiny floor oh my god because when, when we spoke last time on this you asked me my favourite character and it is that like by far and mm. I'm just like oh man I kind of that's so exciting though that means I get to see because I still have the taste of of uh, Hayden Christensen's like the last no in my mouth still <laughs> which is literally what I yelled out <laughs> when I saw him you need to brush so, your teeth more so, <laughs> yeah since 2005 <laughs> I've had that taste in my mouth no but I feel like I'm excited because this will give me you know some new dark cleanse it well cleanse the Darth palette and this is also it's gonna be in that prime when he's evil sort of phase as well do you know what I mean like 
we sort of see the transition across the four, five, six, whereas, and at the start of four, he's pure evil. Mm. So I feel like this is, we're not going to get a softened Anakin at this point. Yeah, because what ruins him is finding out he's got a son. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That's that, his, that brings his... That, uh, that, that's when he begins to lose focus. Well, no, but I mean, that's what makes the character so interesting. Because in the first, the, the, the first one, or the fourth one, you just... You have you don't think there's anything redeemable about mm. this good dude. He's just killing mm. guys left, right, and center. You know, strangling them and shit. But then you sort of see the breaking down of him because of his love for the sun. Whereas this one, I feel like we're just going to get un unfiltered, cold hearted, just the dark side. No child support payments. No child support. No every second Sunday. Maybe probably off the back of uh, Padme dying as well. He must be just full of rage because you just had to I never followed anything of Star Wars other than the movies so I've always had to just assume that during that time when he found out Padme died he just went mental it's killing people tough blow like imagine mm. you've hooked up with Natalie Portman and then mm. you accidentally kill her yes yes oh, that's yeah. huge you're never going to get a girlfriend that good looking again well not with that helmet like <laughs> 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 you know, it's a really hard one to pull off. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, you know, it's, it's like people it's like, have body image issues as it is. Imagine how Darth Vader feels when he has to take off the yeah. mask and helmet. <laughs> and mask it's, it's like you got to find, you got to get the hot wife before you like get yes. old. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. someone to die with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you use the young body yeah. when you get a chance. So I lucked out. I was like, right. <laughs> I was just like, right. So now I'm 31. Put me out there now. I'm not getting shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you lock it down as soon as possible. I'm 31 and 40 kilos overweight. I better lock something down soon. Don't worry. You you might be able to get the fame the fame hot girlfriend. Oh yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. A yeah. shallow relationship. Just <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no, no, but we're getting sidetracked. Okay, so don't you reckon that's true? That we'll see a version of Vader that's not got any kind of redeemable good. Oh quality? yeah, nah. He'll oh, be. Oh, it's gonna be so good. He'll be an absolute prick. Yeah. Hey you guys, this clip is brought to you by the Steel Wars Podcast. If you want to hear weekly free podcast interviews, in-depth talking Star Wars with a gamut of comedians, musicians, TV personalities, Star Wars super fans, and the cast and crew of the films themselves, go to SteelWars.com or if you're on iTunes, download our free iPhone or iPod app or simply click subscribe in the iTunes store. On Steel Wars. I think it's Darth Plagueis. I think it's Ezra. I think it's the ghost of Darth Vader back from the dead. If you are sick of Snoke theories, you need the Your Snoke Theory Sucks t-shirt and stickers. Now available on SteelWars.com. Wrapped even by Ryan Johnson, director of Star Wars Episode Eight. If you want your Star Wars news a bit satirical, the midichlorian count is pretty much the onion for Star Wars fans. Click on it, the midichlorian count dot com. Steel Wars is about to lift up its YouTube game, so to not miss a clip, click subscribe. Click it, click it. Go on, click, please. Have you done it already? I wish I could tell. Click it. Go on, click subscribe. Go on. Click it. Click it.